Well, a uh, local food truck is getting ready to hit the town again with after a few pandemic setbacks. Lori Wallace is live in Rockland. Check it out. The Butcher's Cleaver food truck. Good morning, Lori. You say they have vegetarian Good options? Good morning. <laughs> That's right. Now, by the name, you might not think so. Right. But they do. Okay. So I got you covered. Here is the dynamic trio right here. I have Nathan, Austin, and Peter. And these guys have been working together for a long time, have been friends forever. Talk a little bit about that. So we have all been friends for about 25 years. We went to elementary school together um, in Auburn all the way through high school. Um, we started a small catering company, and then the last year or so, right before COVID hit, we ended up, you know, taking the, the leap of faith and starting the food truck, the Butcher's Cleaver. Okay, now I know Cody is going to love the design on the food truck. This is a cool looking truck. Yeah. You guys had some, some help getting this thing done. Yeah, so absolutely. So um, before anything, we had a tattoo artist out of San Francisco, Austin Maples, design the logo. Logo. And then um, we actually bought it as a shell and then had um, our good buddy Edgar from Gomez Repairs in Sacramento go ahead and fabricate the whole thing. So we built it exactly how we wanted it. So whether it was catering or a food truck, you know, um, expo, we wanted to make sure it had everything we needed so we weren't taking somebody else's truck and trying to make it ours. It looks so good. Okay, so let's talk about this COVID thing here for a yeah. minute because there were certainly some challenges, but you guys found yourselves extremely busy yeah. and, and just kept on moving. Yeah, well, I mean, we have to give, you know, huge shout out, you know, to our family, our community, local wineries and breweries that gave us a place to be able to serve. Uh, we always kind of refer ourselves to like the misfits or, you know, the lost boys on our maiden voyage. But um, as soon as COVID hit, we had only been open about a month or two. So we turned to family meals, to goes, meal preps. Um, we did prime rib dinners for Christmas. Um, we weren't ready to give up. Um, neither was the community around us. So we ended up taking different avenues to try to make that happen. And, okay. it's, and it's worked out. And it worked. So we're at Moxa right now. And of course, this is one of the places where people can find you. Uh, what we got to talk about is the menu yes, because uh, this stuff looks too good. All right, take me through it here. Yeah. So the first up, we have our probably number one most, most popular item it's our beer braised pork belly tacos. So we usually use a local you know, brewery. We'll beer braise it for about eight hours. And then what we do is we hit it on the flat tops so we make what we call pork belly hash browns <laughs> Yum. Uh, so you got some pickled onions micro cilantro salsa verde um, uh, crema slaw on there and then moving over here we have our smoked chicken buffalo fries so we actually make a creamy house ranch and we actually mix that in with some frank's red top it with some green onions and have that smoked chopped chicken on there. Okay, we got about 30 seconds left. Yeah, so this is our uh, chimichurri tri-tip sandwich on a fresh torta roll. And then over here is one of our vegetarian dishes, fried Brussels sprouts with Parmesan and basil and balsamic reduction. I told you I would not leave you hanging, Courtney, and I did not. These smell so good. That All right, guys, so it. now that you're back out and about, people can find you yeah. uh, on the weekends at some of these breweries and wineries. Where are you going to pop up next? Yeah, so we'll actually be at uh, Moonraker on Thursday in Auburn. We'll actually be back here at Moxa. They're having another can release. Um, we'll be here 12 to 8 on Saturday, and then back to Moonraker 12 to 8 on Sunday. So, so happy for you guys, you guys making so it through. Uh, and so cool to see their friendship uh, now turn into a business. Yeah. How, how It doesn't get any better than working next to your best friends all day, right? So yeah. these guys have it all figured out. Uh, you can check them out online, of course, on social media, too, and we'll link all their info to our website. I can't well. wait, Lori, we'll for you and I to launch our business together. <laughs> How much fun would it be it's to be so good, work Cody. on good day for six and a half hours, <laughs> then you and I take a little small break, then start working on other business, just spending all that quality time together. It'd be great. <laughs> Look at her face. She just panicked. <laughs> we have plenty of time for that. Plenty of time for that. <laughs> Thanks, Lori.